A master corporal in the Canadian Armed Forces is under investigation after allegedly recruiting for one of the most extreme neo-Nazi hate groups in North America, a group which calls itself the base. They uh, worship uh, terrorists and mass killers. Uh, they are preparing their members for what they see as a coming uh, race war and uh, not just preparing for it, but preparing to carry out terrorist attacks to accelerate to make that race war happen sooner. The soldier, identified as Patrick Matthews, has nine years experience in the military and basic training on explosives. As a master corporal, his job includes some leadership responsibilities. RCMP won't confirm this public safety warrant executed Monday night was at Matthews' house. But in this video posted to social media, you can hear an officer shout his name. RCMP seized a number of firearms from the home. The Winnipeg Free Press breaking the story after recruitment posters for The Base popped up across Winnipeg. The newspaper sent an undercover reporter posing as a white nationalist to investigate the hate group. They are actively doing paramilitary training. Um, you know, I've seen evidence of this. They're organizing these events. They're happening across North America. Uh, so that's certainly concerning. I don't, didn't have any evidence that uh, Patrick Matthews was planning to do anything imminently, but he certainly discussed violence openly and talked about the possibility of derailing a train. Thorpe documented the group's conversations, which were often racist and sexist. At one point, they talked about murdering reporters. I mean, I knew it was going to be bad, but it was, you know, it was very, very bad. The issue of hate groups in the military is not new. The Anti-Hate Network says extremist hate groups often seek out military members or send their members to get military training to bring back to the group. The Armed Forces says it's working to address problems like this. Canada's Defence Minister has called for an independent review. In a statement, he says, while the vast majority of our members adhere to the highest level of professionalism and personal conduct, members who engage in these types of activities undermine the confidence Canadians have bestowed in them. The Canadian Armed Forces says Matthews is not facing any charges at this time. He remains an active part-time member of the military. While he hasn't worked since May, he is scheduled back at work in September. The Armed Forces won't say how long this investigation will last, but they say depending on the outcome, sanctions could range anywhere from remedial measures to outright dismissal. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.